Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another Total War Warhammer online battle. In today's battle, I am playing as the Greenskins. I wanted to step away from the Empire for a little bit. I've been playing a lot as the Empire, so I want to do something a little bit different. And my opponent is playing as Chaos, so let's just quickly examine army selection and stuff like that. I have some Night Goblin Archers up front. I've got a uh, two Goblin Rock Lobbers. I've got uh, a main line of uh, orc boy or of orc biggins, a black orc over here, a couple of orc boy, uh, boar boy biggins, and then I have a war boss, a night goblin shaman, and a goblin big boss over here. On this flank, I've got some goblin wolf riders, and then over on this flank, I've got a unit of night goblin archers. Now, the night goblins, the archers, and for that matter, the the melee night goblins all have the stalk ability, so. My opponent cannot see this guy or this guy or, or these archers here at all, which can make them actually really useful for flanking maneuvers and stuff like that. And they all have poison attacks, so they, they're actually pretty useful when supported by other stuff, in my opinion. Now, my opponent brought three units of armored chaos trolls, uh, an exalted hero on a manticore, one, two, three, four, five units of regular Chaos Warriors is kind of his main line. Chosen with Halberds. And then a, looks like a regular Chaos Lord on a Manticore. Or actually, no, on a Chaos, on the Chaos Dragon. Okay, outstanding. So, those are the army selections. Now, uh, let's go ahead and dive into the battle a little bit. Uh, let's see. As soon as the battle starts, I'm going to start moving my goblin wolf riders around to get behind. He didn't bring any lightly armored stuff at all, so they're not really going to do a whole lot of good. Um, really what it was, <laughs> the reason I even have the wolf riders is because basically, uh, A, in case he brought the, uh, the hell cannon, they could do, they could deal with that. And more importantly, I almost ran out of time picking this army, so I just grabbed something that used up my remaining 300 gold. <laughs> um, he started moving his halberds out, so I stopped moving that. He was responding. And then I'm, I'm shooting my rock lobber at his chaos warriors. I should have probably been targeting these chosen instead. Uh, they're a more high-value target than regular old chaos warriors, but that's okay. We're doing some damage to his chaos warriors. He is going to start moving his trolls in. Uh, and his trolls are probably the most threatening thing on the field, other than his uh, legendary lord, or his, his uh, I suppose technically the Chaos Lord isn't a legendary lord, but either way, you guys get the idea. I'm going to start moving these archers up. They can't be seen right now, they're invisible. And then I am going to start moving my boar boys out, because these guys are anti-large, and should do relatively well against those armored Chaos trolls. Uh, my units are all going to attack... And then I'm going to start uh, moving my black orcs up as well. So this flank should get overwhelmed. Now the downside is he's bringing his chaos trolls in to flank me. And that's going to cause me some issues. Uh, so I'm going to start moving my goblin archers to do some damage to these chaos trolls. Uh, and then these goblin archers are going to start shooting at his lord. Uh, try and get some damage in there. I am casting, I believe, Sneaky Stabbing over here. One of the very good spells in the Lord of the Little Wah. Uh, I'm going to use a lot of Itchy Nuisance and Sneaky Stabbing throughout this uh, battle to buff my troops and debuff the enemy on this mainline infantry fight to give me the advantage. Uh, my Boar Boy Biggins are going in to basically wreck these Chaos Trolls. Trolls have very low um, leadership, so they route pretty easily. They're tough, but I can make them route by basically hammering them with uh, with cavalry charges. And then these boar boys are going to charge in. Uh, actually, no, I'm charging him down here because his lord is landed. And if I can take him out with the anti-large capabilities of this unit of boar boys, it's going to do very useful things for me. Over here, we've got my night goblin, or my, uh, my wolf riders coming back. They're not really going to serve a huge purpose in this fight, but if I can slam them into the back and get some rear charges, I might be able to do a little bit of morale damage with them. So they're going to kind of come up. I do have my lord 
and my goblin big boss going after his exalted hero here who's going to die and be shattered pretty quick uh, and killed. So good there. And that leaves my archers open and my, ca my uh, artillery units are still firing as well. You can see my orc boy biggins are not holding up to these chaos warriors. They're falling apart, which is going to cause some problems. Um, my wolf riders into the back of these units, but very weak, not really going to cause a huge uh, effect. My black orcs have been uh, have taken some significant damage, but my night, glob my night goblin archers are doing some work. They're raining down arrows on these guys, uh, causing that poison attack damage. And I'm moving my goblin big boss over here to intercept these chaos warriors before they can get to my night goblin shaman. And my night goblin shaman is going to start causing, uh, using spells, itchy nuisance and stuff like that. And you can see I've got basically two lines of archers here that are able to just fire into this mass of infantry uh, pretty much unchecked. So they're going to cause some damage over time and they're causing those poison effects. Uh, and some significant morale damage. So these uh, these infantry units are going to rout and run away. Um, all in all, a pretty decent little battle. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the, the post screen here. So you can see his Chosen with Halberds did pretty well. Some of his Chaos, his chaos Warriors did pretty well. Um, but, I mean, primarily... There, it doesn't look like the Night Goblin Archers got a lot of kills, but they did a lot of morale damage. Um, my Biggins performed all right. My Black Orcs, I would have uh, expected to perform a little bit better. A lot of this battle really just kind of highlights the importance of attacking the enemy's morale and leadership rather than doing significant damage. Because you can see, I mean, only 243 kills, and here only 297 uh, of my 900 uh units were killed but a lot of these guys routed and ran away because they were getting uh, attacked to leadership uh, and that's really what it kind of came down to the archers the goblin wolf riders I mean a lot of these guys it didn't look like they did nearly as much as they actually did I shouldn't I probably shouldn't have picked two rock lobbers uh, I think one would have been more than enough and I really didn't get my money's worth out of either of them but Eh, that's all right. But anyway, guys, there it was. Nice little quick battle. Green skins, chaos. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. Uh, but that is going to do it for me. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it. And it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.